So a few people have asked me to go through the minor through notes per string scale shapes going up the neck. Now the thing to remember about the certainly the natural minor is that it contains all of the same scale tones as you have in the major scale, which means all of the shapes that you play are identical with the minor scale and the major scale. Uh, the difference is that the minor scale is is built on the sixth degree of the major scale, so it's the sixth mode of the major scale. Um, but other than that, they're identical. Now, from a point of view of the, the scale fragments that I've, I've spoken about in previous videos, you can, you can change the scale fragments in one of two ways. Well, the first way is that you can directly modify the scale fragments, and by that I mean you take the first scale fragment and you flatten the third, you flatten the sixth, and you flatten the seventh, and that gives you another set of three patterns. Or the other thing you can do is take the existing patterns that we've already created and just relabel the, the notes on them. So identify where the sixth is and treat that as a root, and then you build the scale shapes around it so you find the second degree, the third degree, the fourth, fifth, and sixth, and seventh from there. And that's the approach that I thought I'd take this week. Now, if all of that sounds alien to you, what you should do is check out my two deep dive videos because I go into the underlying structures of three notes per string scale shapes and the scale fragments that you find in them. And I show how uh, all of the positions up and down the neck can be created from just three groups of scale fragments. Now, um, so obviously check those out and that, that should explain and give you some background because I'll be using that throughout this video. But in terms of the, the minor scale, the three fragments, if you remember, the first one is three strings and every note is a tone uh, apart, so it looks like that. And if you lay out that fragment uh, and renumber everything so the sixth degree is a root, you'll find there's a root there and a root there in the middle of the first string and at the end of the third string. And the other scale tones fall out, so that's the flat seventh root, second flat third, fourth, fifth, flat sixth, flat seventh, and there's a root again. So that's the first fragment. The second fragment looks like this. So that's a, a semitone tone, semitone tone. And that doesn't have a root in it at all. So it starts from the second degree to flat three, four, five, flat six, flat seven. And then the third degree, just a uh, third fragment looks like this. So it's uh, two strings with a tone, then a semitone, and a tone, and a semitone. And in that case, the root note falls in that first position of the lowest string. So that's one, two, flat three, four, five, flat six. So those are the three fragments that I'll be referring to throughout this video. But what I, what I thought I'd do is I'd walk through each of the positions going up the neck. I'd identify uh, chords that are nearby. I'd identify where the root notes are and I'll show you where the fragments are for each of the positions. Um, now, I created a PDF for this, which I thought I'd give to my Patreon guys, but I'm going to put all of the graphics, everything that was in that PDF, I'll stick on, I'll burn into the video as well, so uh, you're not missing anything by not having that PDF. Okay, so let's, let's zoom in anyway, and uh, we'll go through it. Okay, so I'm going to make my way up the neck, playing all the positions of the A minor, three notes per string scale shape. So there's my A minor chord on the fifth fret, and the first position sits on top of that, and certainly starts on top of it, and you can see the roots are just here. There are all my A's, and the, the shape itself starts with fragment three. So there's a root, root, second flat three, four, five, flat six. Fragment three moves on to fragment one. And you can see fragment one sits across those root notes. And then the first part of fragment two. So that's my first position. Sitting on that A minor chord. 
Okay, position two then. Position two starts with fragment two, then fragment three, and then first part of fragment one. And this sits quite nicely on that kind of that D minor chord. You can see there are my roots. And because I know that that's fragment two, I know that must be the second, flat three, four, five, flat six, flat seven, for example. So you can see how the fragments immediately tell me the note functions within the shape as well. So that's the second position. Let's move on to the third position. So the third position has my roots are just there. It's kind of like a C minor chord. It's a horrible chord to play, but there are my roots. Those are what I'm focusing on. And it starts with the second, the second two strings of fragment one. So it finishes on that root note. Then fragment two. Fragment three. And again, just by knowing that that's fragment three, for example, I know that's one, two, flat three, four, five, flat six. Okay, so that's the third position. Fourth position then. So my root notes are here. So the middle note there. And so I'm finishing fragment uh, three off. Moving on to fragment one. That's uh, the root note, and the other root note there, which all sits on fragment one, and then fragment two. Okay, and it kind of sits on on the uh, A minor bar chord just there on the twelfth fret. Okay, next position then, position four is on the 12th fret, and as I say, it sits over that A minor chord more completely, there are my root notes. So, this finishes with fragment two, the top half, five, flat six, flat seven, and there's my root, so that's fragment three, start fragment three, then fragment one, to finish it off. Position five. Position six then. So now it's on the 13th fret in this case. Uh, my root is just there. So it kind of sits on top of a, a bar G minor chord, if you like. Just there. And so it finishes the, the last string of fragment three, then fragment two, sorry, fragment one. And then it moves on to fragment two, then fragment three, and then back to fragment one again. So that's the sixth position. Seventh position kind of sits in between that bar, the G minor chord and that bar uh, E minor chord on the on the 17th fret. Um, and it looks like this, so it starts with fragment one. So there are my root notes, and you can see they sit, it's the whole of fragment one, then fragment two, and then one string of fragment three. So that's it. Let me know if this video has been useful for you. Um, if it has, I can, I can continue this series on. The uh, next stage will probably be looking at the other way of altering these fragments. So actually uh, modifying the fragments directly and we'll, by doing that we can create things like the natural minor, we can create the harmonic minor and you can start to think about things like modes a little bit differently as well. So anyway, uh, that's it for this week. I will chat next time. Goodbye.